Good morning. Uh, I'm not feeling good. Oh dear. I'm not feeling good. This is. Oh god. Well, I woke up with just like a little bit of a little bit of a headache. Still there, taking half a paracetamol. But now it's just like, wow, what do you? It hates me. I just feel a little bit of I'm not even wearing my headphones because it's just like my brain <laughs> hurts too much. I'm not even dressed. These are my pajamas. My brother is what I'm wearing. Like my pajamas. Toby, will you stop fucking about? You're very cute, but stop fucking about. He keeps doing this thing where he goes up in my window and then just like pushes his face into my neck curtains as far as it can go and it's just like, what are you doing? You feel like that? Yeah. Ugh. Fucking head. And this has everything to do with today's stresses. Nothing at all to do with the cider and the two glasses of Advocat, I swear. I am really just getting to the point in my life where I just don't actually enjoy drinking. <laughs> where I'm like, yeah, that seems like fun. Ooh, this tastes kind of nice. And then it's just like, I feel like roadkill. <laughs> it's really not worth it. It is unbelievably not worth it. Actually, it's quite believably not unworth it. Wait, what? It's quite believably not worth Yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes, maybe. I think it's I slept fine. I like had a proper well no proper meal. I had food. I had water. Realistically, most of the time, I'm actually okay. I mean, yeah, tired. Yeah, kind of achy. But most of the time, I'm actually okay. But the last six weeks, and I am just going to narrow it down to the last six weeks this time instead of just going, ooh, 2023 has been a real bitch, even though it has. But the last six weeks have just been emotional and physical hell, either from hormonal bullshit or from the stupid cold, which has completely fucked up my nose, by the way. Like, it's just so uncomfortable in there, and it feels like it's all scabby, and I don't want to do anything with it because I don't want to get a nosebleed. And then I'm trying to just, I don't know, make it stop itching, or whatever it was. Uh, I managed to block this nostril just by sort of squeezing on it because I'm like, like if it's gonna bleed, I'm gonna preempt it, which you probably shouldn't do. It does itch, which is really annoying because it's like right up in here that it's like oh, there's like a big scab or something. Ugh. And this point of because it's been so stressful, not even any for like particular reason, <coughs> but it's stressful enough that I did. Well, my body does what it does best and gave me a stress period, not like two weeks after having my actual period, and I'm just like, can you, can you just not? Can you just not? Can we just, can we, can we just not, please? Oh my god. Just, I don't even know why I feel like this. Just a big load of blur. Like my nose is annoying me. It's a little bit of headache. Don't really feel sick, but I feel like that might be famous last words. I did feel a little, like a tiny bit sick last night, but it didn't last more than like a few seconds. 
And that happens to me sometimes anyway. Sometimes I'm just sitting funny and my stomach's just like, not like this. So. Uh, well, luckily I don't think I actually need to put my headphones on this morning because I'm not playing anything. You guys can enjoy the music. I will just sit here and slowly talk about my stupid, stupid week. Most of my week has been okay, but there's been a few standout things that have been quite silly. Hello. This is my boy. Point. I still haven't charged his, his cat cam. I still haven't done it. Well, who? That's my sweet baby man. What are you doing? Do you ever know what you're doing? Or are you just coasting through life? Oh, you're so beautiful. Hello, beautiful boy. Stop nuzzling my headphone microphone things, please. It doesn't actually matter. It's just terribly. <laughs> there are easier things for you to nuzzle than. Yep. <sighs> I really want to be able to test our new schedule, but I'm so tired. And what I think I'm going to have to do is either just spend time between this stream and tonight's stream just doing nothing, just laying down and just doing a ground tour on the jackal, or doing that plus cancel tonight's stream just to be able to guarantee it, but what to do tomorrow morning, because I really want to, but <sighs> I really want to, and I can't actually tell sometimes when it's just psychosomatic bullshit just kicking me in the teeth. Because I am still capable of doing things. There was a time, a brief time of about maybe a couple of months when I wasn't able to, when the fibro was just really getting into gear and I was having to juggle painkillers and things like that. Where I wasn't able to do much, and my mum had to help me with the vast majority, but I'm getting back to the point where I am able to do at least. <coughs> <coughs> some of my housework God, <coughs> 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 oh, it's so fucking annoying No promises. <coughs> no promises. I'm so fucking tired. I also made this mistake of turning on my heating this morning. I don't think it's actually that cold today, so now I just feel it. Very handsome. Yeah, it's only eight degrees, that's actually not that cold. Thank you, boy. 
boy. Little cute boy. Oh boy. It's definitely not like <coughs> the usual tired. It's just like you've done a lot. Stop doing stuff for a bit. Which is something I should really start listening to. Um I'm sorry, everybody. I, <coughs> I really shouldn't be streaming right now. But I hate starting something and then stopping it. I hate doing that. And I do have a banger of a story to tell, but it's just so damn stupid. Like, from the word go, it was stupid. You might, yeah. <coughs> it's so stupid. Alright. <coughs> For fuck's sake, stop it. <coughs> it's so stupid. It's more just... <coughs> this is awful. <coughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. <coughs> stop. Okay, got the popcorn. So, <coughs> for a while, this is going to be really slow, this is going to be like Ross Geller telling <coughs> any story. Uh, no rushing, thank you. <coughs> for a while, I've been hoping to upgrade this phone, because we know, all know, this phone is a piece of shit. I had to buy it because I broke the screen of my last one with two stupid mistakes. <coughs> but getting new phones, <laughs> good phones, expensive. And my sister was like, you should get a phone contract. And I was like, I don't know how to do that. <coughs> <coughs> so I then proceeded to do no research whatsoever. <coughs> this is ridiculous. You're adorable. <coughs> this is so fucking stupid. And then, on Tuesday morning, I'm gonna have to go so, so fucking slow, I got a promotional text from Vodafone, who is my provider, and it was like, hey, new offers on phone contracts. So I was like, <coughs> alright, there's my in. So I went through the whole thing on my phone. Set it up real nice. Google Pixel, which is a really good phone. Or so I've heard. I don't actually have any experience. And then I got like all the emails saying it's confirmed. And then like three hours later or whatever, I got an email that said we have to do. <coughs> oh wait, I missed a bit. No, it doesn't matter. I missed. <coughs> We have to do credit checks, and sadly, yours isn't good enough, so we've cancelled your phone contract. And I was just like, what the fuck? And then it was also like, if you'd like to check your credit score, go to one of these links. So I went to Experian, and like, put in all my info, and it was like, hey, your credit score is excellent. It's only 14 points down from being perfect. So, I was like... What the actual fuck Vodafone. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just gonna call them up and actually talk to a human. And I got one of the like the nicest humans in a call centre. 
and he went through the whole thing with me, like, went through all the, like, the hoops and talked to everybody to try and set it up, and it turned out that it had absolutely fuck all to do with my credit score. Don't know why that's what they said, and more to do with the fact that they'd taken my date of birth down wrong. It was the 20th rather than the 28th, and they were like, oh yeah, I thought you said 20th. But I realise now, it was your Welsh accent, and I'm just like, I have a Welsh accent? <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> I think he just took my voice as what it is, and just thought, that's what Welsh people sound like. <coughs> or maybe I do have a Welsh accent. I haven't heard another Welsh person talk in a very long time. <coughs> <coughs> so... got the same phone contract set up again and he was like it'll come tomorrow the next day here you guys have heard me complain so much about this place and how nothing ever gets here on time and it's december but i was just like he knows what he's talking about i won't say anything if that uses the standard credit score says no because it's an easy option for them how about I'm sorry, we must have taken your date of birth down wrong. Can you correct this? Doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, he was like, it'll come tomorrow, that's Wednesday. And I got like a whole bunch of emails about like the thing or the setup. And the one that got me the most, which is this one. Hello, here's everything you need to know about your delivery. Our courier, DPD, will text or email you the day before your order is due to arrive. They didn't do that. They did send me an email that I had to click on a link to get updates, and most of them were, it'll come next Thursday. Great. And it said, <clears throat> on the morning of your delivery date, they'll also give you a one hour time slot between 8am and 6pm, so it's easier to plan your day. They didn't do that either. What they did do was update that bloody link again which I clicked on on Saturday morning when I was at my parents' place where I thought, it's not coming till next Thursday, I can go to my parents' place. And it said, I wonder if I still have it. Oh, please tell me I still have it because it was just so fucking stupid. Okay. Where is this one? Oh, this one. This one. Oh. <laughs> I've got so many of these fucking emails. Where is it? <laughs> I've got too many of these fucking emails. Okay, I can't find it. Maybe it's in my deleted items because apparently I've got trash and deleted items. Here it is. Here it is. Your parcel has been delivered, received by Colin. Now, here's the funny thing. I don't know anybody called Colin. Who the fuck is Colin? And I think the, wait, the other annoying thing... <coughs> I can't remember what the other annoying thing is. Who the fuck is Colin? I was like reading that at my parents' place in, my, in the spare bedroom just going... Who the fuck is Colin? That was the other thing, is that they can't leave it in a safe place. That is like something that they can't do, and yet they gave it to fucking Colin. I don't know who Colin is. <laughs> so I was like, I need to go home. <laughs> who the fuck is Colin, and why does he have my phone? <laughs> and so I called up Vodafone again to complain because it, uh, my next bus wasn't for a while. And I just thought I'd call up and just complain about DPD. <laughs> and they were like, there's not much that we can do right now because all of the warehouses are shut, but this phone call is being recorded, so they will be reported <laughs> based on the information you give us. <laughs> and here comes the really fun part. Um, Saturdays, right? Saturdays. I fucking hate Saturdays. Not because they're busy or they're crowded or all these kids are out of school so they're all on the streets making public menaces. No, no, no. 
I hate Saturdays because all the buses are different. They're at different times for no actual reason because it's the only day that all the buses are at a different time because the buses don't run on Sundays. Monday to Friday they're one set, mostly one set time schedule and then on Saturday they are all different. Hello Toads. So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna get the next bus out, which I was like, it's 10 past two. That's the next bus back to town. And then <laughs> I was just hanging with JJ. <laughs> when it came to two o'clock, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to the toilet before I get on the bus. And I was like, excuse me, dad, sorry, I need to I need to go before I catch the bus because my dad was on the way, on my way to the bathroom. Did my business, I was like, okay, dad, you can go in now. And I was just like, half a back up to get my stuff. And then dad was like, isn't the bus back to town on Saturdays at 1 p.m.? Didn't it leave an hour ago? Yeah, it sure did. <laughs> Next bus, 4 p.m. Stop nuzzling my dang headphones. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> <coughs> How you doing? I hope you're doing okay. I'm just casually coughing myself into oblivion. Toby is here nuzzling my headphones that I'm not wearing, and I'm telling a story about how I hate bus timetables, uh, courier services, and what, like, lazy corporations? Because they're just like, your date of birth is wrong, therefore your credit score is shit. Yeah, way to go, Vodafone, that's real clever. <coughs> like, fucking hell, why don't they just, why don't they just say, hey, your date of birth doesn't match up with our records. That's all they had to say. And I was like, and that's the funny thing, because I did notice that when signing into my Vodafone, I was like, oh, it says 20th of April. That's not right. And I was like, can I change it? And they were like, but yes, chat with one of our, like, 24-hour people. The button didn't work, so I was just like, all right, I'll deal with that later. And then and then they were like, hey, you can't get this phone contract because your credit score sucks. Score sucks. My credit score is it's excellent. And then they were like, oh, no, I actually showed it to a bar. <laughs> okay. I think that would be, like, one of the most basic functions, just them saying, oh, yeah, this one detail is, is uh, slightly erroneous, so you might want to fix that, too. Yeah, who would think was my birthday was the 20th? Maybe they'd been talking to you. I guess. But yeah, that was my new phone in the hands of some guy called Colin. Don't know, still don't know who that is. And I was stranded at my parents' place until 5 p.m. because the bus was at 4, I wouldn't get in until 5. Just like, what the fuck is going on? And it ruins my day because I was just stressing the fuck out. <coughs> I was just stressing the fuck out and my mum was having an issue because her BT email uh, thing got updated and kept kicking her out and she couldn't remember her old password and, and every time it was like, hey, we're sending you uh, one of them codes so you can log in. It, n none of those codes ever arrived. So while I was on the phone to Vodafone complaining about DPD, she was on the other side of the room trying to log in, trying to create a new password. In the end, I ended up having to do it for her whilst I was talking to the guy on Vodafone. <laughs> oh my god. And then... I think the dumbest thing ever is that if I just hadn't checked my email that morning, I would have had a really nice time because when I got home early, <coughs> but not as early as I wanted, at 5pm, the fucking box was outside my door. Because, fun fact, I don't know my next door neighbour that well. <coughs> it's entirely possible his name is Colin. And it's equally as possible that he was just like, eh, she's not here. I'll just sign it for good deeds and all that. But, um, fun fact, if you don't, if you and your neighbours don't know each other by name, don't sign for each other's packages. Don't do it, because if they get that notification and it's received by insert stranger's name here, that is not a good thing. That is not a good deed. Thank you. <coughs> 
But I prefer it if they just left one of those slips that said, Hey, you are out. Reschedule for when I'm in. I would have preferred that. Because I don't know who the fuck Colin is. I still don't know who Colin is. BT's update fairly recently to get mildly frustrating. Yeah, and my mum is not good with technology on any sense of the level. It came up with the tick this box to prove you're not a robot. And she was like, I don't know what this means. And I was just like, you just press the fucking, you just click the box. That's it. See, yeah, my mum freaks out about technology, mostly because a few years back she got properly duped by some fucking cunts and her laptop was completely hacked and trashed. So she's scared to click on anything even remotely different or un unfamiliar. So I sort of get it, but it's like, you definitely had the preview not a robot thing before, it's everywhere. Toby, you know how to get up there. Stop shredding my neck curtains, please. Toby. Toby. Oh, don't look at me like that. You're too cute. I'm so tired. Could be the American film director, producer, and screenwriter Colin Trevorrow. I have heard of that guy. But I also don't know who he is. But yeah, my phone. I'm not doing fucking anything with it. It is back there. I'm not touching it, at least. I was going to say tomorrow, but now I'm too tired to even think about tomorrow. I don't want to do anything tomorrow. <coughs> oh, good lord, he did Jurassic World. I'm out. Toby, stop attacking my neck curtains! Stop it! Because I moved my mirror out of here, I was getting so tired of just hearing him mew and then turning around to see him sitting on the edge of my desk, staring into the mirror and then realising he was just staring at my reflection. So I moved into the bathroom. Uh, <clears throat> but the only time I've had one of my neighbours come to my door in recent memory is because they had a delivery coming in the near future and asked if I would take it for them while they were working. Yeah, <clears throat> like that's okay. Like, expecting you to do it without ever actually talking to you is real dumb. I'm not mad at Colin, whoever the hell he is. Thank you for taking delivery of my parcel and just leaving it outside my front door. I am mad at DPD for doing the thi for not doing either of the things it was said that they would do. Well, text or email me the day before my order's due to arrive. Didn't do that. And they'll also give me a one hour time stop between 8am and 6pm so it's easier to plan my day. They didn't do that either. They said it would come next Thursday and then delivered it on the one day that I wasn't going to be in. And I thought taking delivery of this phone was stupid, where I had to walk to the fucking Royal Mail Depot on the very other side of town, find out they'd already sent it out for delivery, and then meet the postman halfway, like, in the middle of town, and then just have him hand me my parcel on the street. Like, I thought that was stupid. Oh my god. I just want to go to sleep. I just want to go to sleep and just never wake up. Just, I want to say never. Like, like a month. Can I just sleep for a month? That was so annoying. And the thing with the buses is so annoying. I mean, it's everything so annoying. I hate things. I mean, none of us have had to get the 1pm bus in so long, because we don't go to town in the middle of the day on Saturdays, because why the hell would we? It's full of people and children, and it's just like, ugh, why? I go there Saturday morning, and by there I mean my parents' place, and then I leave Saturday night. And that's it. My brain hurts, and I'm not happy about it. I'm also never ordering something like a new phone in December ever again. Because I'm also expecting something from Every and UPS. They're mostly a Christmas presents though, for other people. Oh, is everything so bright? 
Phoebe, are you hungry? I'm gonna go feed Tobes back soon. Hello, I am back. My brain still hurts, but that's fine. I'm very free to things. I'd like it if my brain didn't hurt, honestly. That would be that would be nice to have a not brain hurting thing. <sighs> thing is, I feel like there's nothing like stand out that's actually wrong with me right now. Not really. The cough is annoying, the blocked nose is annoying. The sort of teetering little headache is annoying. But other than that, I can't actually like detect anything overtly wrong. I just feel like shit. And I don't know why I bought three bottles of Advocat. I'm having so much trouble just getting through one bottle. I don't like drinking anymore. <laughs> drinking is not fun. Drinking like strong alcoholic drinks is not fun. <coughs> you should just make custard and eat that. It's basically the same thing. That's not true at all. But yeah, it'd be nice if my brain could just ease the fuck up. But yeah, my TV's broken, can't get a new one until the new year. Got a new phone coming, which is good, and by that I mean it's over there and I will set it up eventually. I'm gonna take it real slow this week because I do want our new schedule to actually have some kind of... That's what you should drink when we are down. Oh, well, that's the most secret candle. I'm always down. <laughs> Lately, anyway, it would, it would be nice to actually be cheerful. <coughs> it's just... It's just getting difficult to do with nothing. If that's what it feels like. Just... Like I can't even get my brain to like focus on a good, a decent solution other than just conking out. Hello, Tobes. And I've got so much to do this week. And the thing is, I want to do all of it, but it's just so exhausting to even think about. So I've got a shroom tonight, shroom tomorrow morning, which is not negotiable, unless I'm like, I don't know, bleeding out my eye sockets or something. I've got D&D &D tomorrow night. My dad's coming up Tuesday plus the Tuesday night stream. I'm actually gonna look at my schedule. I've got a Christmas dinner on Thursday. But I think that is actually it. Yeah. Oh, and I'm getting my hair cut on Wednesday, 4 p.m. So it'll be after morning stream. 
and I'm just gonna back and sides a little off the top. I think I'm already at the point where I kind of want to start growing it out again, but I haven't had short for very long, so it's probably just me being mad about a new adjustment that I haven't made yet. I, Toby, for goodness sake. No, I'm not mad, you silly, silly boy there. Like, he's figured out how to get up onto that window when the curtains are all shut. But when it's when the curtains are open, he hasn't figured out how to get past the net curtains. He just jumps onto it and just sits on it in the, on the windowsill. I think it's because cats can't actually see netting very well. I think I heard that was a thing. Was a, a friend of mine had a cat carrier that was not your typical one. It was sort of like, sort of like a gym bag, but with net, netted sides. So cats appreciated it better because it was less like they were trapped so maybe he just can't see and it's just like a physical thing physical invisible thing that he's like what the fuck is this I wish it wasn't such a head case, I just... <laughs> it's really quite funny watching Toby explore things. Okay, bye. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually the first day we've had in a while that hasn't been like sub-zero. We've had black we've had regular ice frost black ice black ice was really really bad the other day i had to help i was on my way to the job center and i had to help a lady get to a door but she was just like i just don't think i can make it which is entirely fair i don't know i've actually helped two people this week this past week the other one had nothing to do with ice there's this road that i go down to get back to my flat that has this gorgeous, really nicely cultivated garden and I love walking by it. And this, there, there's always like an old man like sitting in the window. And this time the old man was like standing in his doorway and he like called out to me and said, can you help me? And I was just like, theoretically, yes. <laughs> but it was also like, I've seen the movies. This is like a perfect bait. You're gonna, you're gonna lure me in and then I'm gonna get kidnapped or something. But, <laughs> but no. That didn't happen, mostly because this is where I live and nothing happens here. Especially nothing like that. Especially not from a guy I've walked past the window of for at least 15 years. But no, <laughs> what he wanted me to help him with is he accidentally pulled out the plug socket for his coffee machine and he couldn't get it back in. And the reason he couldn't get it back in is because his plug sockets are at least 20 to 30 years old. I couldn't get it back in. So I was just like, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to call an electrician. <laughs> So I was just like, it won't go back in. It's like one of those really old plug sockets. I, think he, I don't think he'd ever unplugged the coffee machine before, so it went in perfectly when he got it, and then just this, it sort of like swelled around it, so when it came out, it just wouldn't go back in. Yeah. And I'm, just like, I'm sorry, I can't help you with this. But yeah. I mean, it's currently warmer than there than here, which is saying something. When you say there than here, do you mean here? And your here is there? I haven't checked. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. It's eight degrees. I did check that. I don't know where you are, but... Down south is... Oh, my goodness. Why are you so handsome? Down south is usually, like, the opposite to whatever we, we've got. It is warmer with you than it is with me. Right. Yeah. Down south is usually, like, the, the opposite, or at least the relative opposite to whatever we've, we've got going on and it is surprisingly warm today which is why I turned my heat you on but I didn't need to I do need to charge my phone <laughs> oh I forgot <clears throat> I also learned that yesterday when helping mum out with her with her email on her phone is that she didn't know how to dismiss notifications so her, like, the, the drop-down thing was just full of everything. 
And I was just like, why did you leave these things up? But she was like, I don't know how to get rid of them. And I was just like, you just swipe. You just swipe. Oh my god, I love my mum, but she's just so scared to try anything because she thinks she'll fuck it up. <laughs> and honestly, don't blame her, it was with the BT thing. All she did was press the back button to get out of one single email and it just logged her out again. Mmm. Luckily, I, uh, and, and the annoying thing about that is every time I would try to like log her in and type in her new email address, if I, you know, it has the the autosave thing and you and you press it, and it usually just lets you press OK after that. What this one did is like it, it put her email address in, and, and email address in, and then it put her old password in, and then it just automatically tried to log her in. It wouldn't let me actually get to the password to type in the new password, and in the end, I had to like type out her email address and then switch down to the password to type in the new password before it would let her in. And then I was like, save new information. Oh my god, I fucking hate technology. It's just awful. It's so bad. Like, I will never pay for anything using my phone. I've seen people, like, pay for groceries using their phone. Never gonna happen. I hate thing. I hate that everything is going digital. It's like, yes, put all of your eggs in one basket so when this goes down, everything goes down. Yay! Because that's a fucking solution. And then discontinuing landlines when that is literally the only way that we can communicate with each other up here when there is a power cut. Because the power cut now knocks out not just our power, but our internet and our signal. Our mobile phone signal goes down during power cuts. The only way we can actually communicate with each other is by landline or if we go outside. And that ain't an option. It's so stupid and they're discontinuing landlines next year. Like, why? Oh, I, this, is, this is not progress. This is just... Let's, you know, make them entirely dependent on this one thing so that when it goes down, they're fucked. Bring back Morse code and semaphore. I don't know what semaphore it is. Flag signaling. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, smoke signals. we got to go back to smoke signals. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so tired. So tired. This, this week has just been... On the face of it, this week has been okay. It's just been like some standout things that have just been like, I hate this. <sighs> and I'm very tired. But I will quickly just, well, I say quickly, I will lastly just run through some schedule stuff. Like with the new schedule. And I have updated it a little bit below stream. That's just more for me, just uh, because of the way I organise games in my Steam library. It makes it easier, a little easier to for me to actually keep up with what I lump in what for me to rest. That was me, apologies. There. So basically what will happen is, I've definitely talked about it in the Discord, but it's worth saying again, is uh, Every time we have a new game to play, I will select some from that particular genre and let you guys vote for which one. And basically, we'll play those four until we like don't want to anymore, and then we'll do another vote. And that'll go for the city builders. Well, basically every single day that we have genres mentioned. I've got a few more games to finish up, like Lost Nova and Heaven's Vault. And we are going to get back to Skyrim eventually. Might stream that on YouTube. Might just stream that to YouTube. Hey, <sighs> Toby, shut up. And with co-op and community games, what I think we'll do is, with the voting, we'll play the game off stream in Discord first, and then stream it if anybody wants to get in on that. The return of the hunt for <laughs> the return of the hunt for potatoes. Beautiful boy. Oh, 
Yeah, it would be good to get back to the potato. Toby, I love you. <coughs> yeah, yeah, with co-op. Um, I think the only thing that we won't stream for co-op is Borderlands 2 because I just can't be bothered. But I think it would be fun to play off stream. And I did say that this week, when I say this week, this week coming, yeah, that actually makes sense. This week, uh, we'd be doing the Super Bunny Man, but what I think I might want to do, if it's up to you, if you guys are up for it, is actually stream some Worms WMD this, this Thursday and do that. And then next week we'll Discord play some Super Bunny Man and then maybe the week after that stream some Super Bunny Man. I think we could do it like that. Because when we're learning a game, particularly like a co-op game, especially one with really shitty controls, like Super Bunny Man or so I've heard, I think streaming at first might just be a bit too stressful and a bit like not entirely fun to watch maybe. I don't know. I think it might just be easier to do off stream. And anybody is welcome to join us in Discord to either play with us or just hang out with us while we play. So, yeah. And Sunday morning chill, honestly, depending how things go, I might actually move that to Saturday morning just so I'm not doing Sunday morning stream, Sunday evening stream, and then a Monday morning stream. But we'll see how this, this week goes. And I will be going back to in January 2024. Um first week of every month off I won't be streaming, might be in Discord but I definitely won't be streaming and though I did tend to like to stream that Sunday I probably, just because of the new schedule won't be streaming that Sunday anymore so basically it'll be first week of every month off uh, let's just do January because it'll be easier oh fuck, what have I done? I don't know how to work this December there we go <coughs> so for, for first week of January it's Monday the 1st, I won't be streaming again until Monday the 8th, for example. So there would be no streams that week at all, including on the Sunday, because I did I did used to like streaming on the Sundays of the, the weeks off, but I think that the way we're doing the schedule now it would be easier if I did actually take a full week off, because I do want to do this. I do want to have like a full schedule as much as I can because I love streaming and I have so many games to get through, so many games that I want to play. There's too many. It's too many. But yeah, more ones chaos, that would be good. I'm so tired. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Alright. Um, okay, I think that will actually do us for today. I know I'm, I'd usually like to stream at least up until lunchtime, which will be an hour and a half or so, but I do think I do just need to go lie down, because I do want to stream tonight if at all possible, so I'd rather, like, get as much time as I can to prepare and just let my body have a bit of a rest as possible. Um, so we're probably just going to read out now. And I will see you with any luck tonight. If I'm not streaming tonight, I will let you know in the Discord with plenty of warning. I say plenty of warning. It would be nice if it was actually plenty of warning. But it will probably be like an hour in advance. At most, at least. I can't remember how that works. I try to leave it until like the last possible, like, not second, say last possible hour then, because sometimes if I do it too early, then I'm just like, oh, I'm actually feeling better now, or the reverse, and I say, oh, I will be streaming, and then I'm like, oh, actually, I feel much worse now, <laughs> so I try to leave it until like the last possible moment, shall we say, but I think an hour is generally enough time to let people know, and today... It was just, uh, I can't remember. I know I said I was going to read the yogs, but for some reason this year, I think it's just because I'm bloody tired. I haven't really been hugely that interested in just the Christmas spirit. Like, I didn't even bother with Christmas stream music today because it's just like, it's too cheerful. I cannot be asked. Um, Herbal Breeze is live. I haven't rated Breezy in a very long time. So I think we're gonna say hello to her. 
Oh, I thought you did. I shouldn't have used it. I needed the wrong thing, I think. Horrible girls. Alright. Breezy's very sweet. She's... Um, they're very chill. They do a lot of chill games and they're just really lovely, so... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, let's just not bother with a raid message today because I'm just all out of sorts. Alright, when I say today, I mean this morning. And with any luck, I'll see you guys tonight. Hope you have a great Sunday and get some good rest if you need it. Um,